Libra, good morning. Welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. I'm just giving the cards a few shuffles here. Okay, it's my great pleasure to be here. And, you know, how am I wonderful Librans this morning? Okay, I hope you're having a great day. All right, waking up with lots of energy. Here we go. These energies are very fluidic. Please take the bits that resonate and leave the rest. All right. Let's see what's going on with you. More shuffle. Here we go. You have the Five of Swords. In the challenge position, you have the Tower moment. Ooh. A lot of disagreements here in the past you have very challenging situations seven of wands all right now there's respite four of wands four of wands get it right four of swords five of swords okay it's kind of mm, waiting till the storms passed coming into your own king of swords mm, here we go wow death card Strength card. Very big shift in your energy here. Two of Pentacles. Reprioritizing. Wow. Seven of Cups. Making choices. Ooh. It would seem here that, you know, I'm kind of getting here straight off the bat with this. Okay. Is take a step back, or you're taking a step back till the storms pass. This is your energy, it is sword energy, it's Aquarius energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, sorry. All right. If you're dealing with an Aquarian, then fair enough. Okay, I don't know why I said that, just came out of the blue. But with this tower moment here, you're instigating this. It's like you're very tired from a very, very disruptive very very challenging situation whether that's in work or whether it's in a relationship all right and you're you've instigated this i'm kind of getting with you you've kind of said enough is enough is enough all right i'm tired of this i'm tired of banging my head up a wall metaphorically i'm tired of struggling i'm tired of manifesting i'm letting go you're coming into your power. You're not thinking with your emotions anymore. You are thinking more logically, intuitively, and with experience. Okay. I'm kind of getting there's a total change, or there has been a total change of reaction here towards this person, towards this situation that you're dealing with. Okay. With this tower here, you are doing a lot of reevaluating. All right. And even. In the situation where you're with somebody married to somebody or they're married to somebody living with somebody whatever there is a detachment here and i'm kind of getting that after the storm has passed probably a couple of months or so okay there's communication again and this time much more mature i'm getting here that things moved there was like a force. It was like push, 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 push energy all the time. So whether you was pushing or whether the person, excuse me, whether the person you were dealing with was doing all the pushing, okay, it, it, you kind of called a halt to it, okay. It, it just made you very, very tired spiritually. It made you very, very tired emotionally. And you think, oh, I need time to breathe. That kind of energy, right? And there's there's a lot of changes taking place, all right? As far as you're concerned, something, there is a major shift in your energy, okay? You're approaching things in a very, very different attitude, okay? With this death card, you are coming and finding the strength to leave somebody behind. You're coming into your power because now you're losing that fear of loss. You're losing that fear of inhibition, all right? You're getting, there's priorities here, Okay, there's a re-establishment, a re-evaluation of relationships on, with the, you and the person you're dealing with, okay. And if you're physically living with this person, I'm kind of getting very little communication, only, it's being, only things being said, what's needed to be said. But there is some coercion here. And the, the energy between you is, is kind of trying somebody trying to coerce you or you're trying to coerce somebody. It's, this is all against better judgment. All right, I am getting, after the storm's passed, I'm kind of getting communication coming in. 
All right. But it's plucking up the courage to change the things you can change. And there's going to be an opportunity to do that, but not worry about the things you can't change. OK, they are in this energy of plucking up the courage to reapproach you and saying, OK, I've made the changes that you asked for. Um, you know, I'm sorry for the way things worked out. I'm sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for doing that. But I'm kind of getting the apologies aren't all one way. I'm kind of getting there's going to be an exchange here. All right. And, you know, let's talk about this. Let's see how we can work around this. Uh, it is kind of in a roundabout way, but not necessarily a direct apologies. Is let, Let's consider our options. OK. I'm sure we can work this out together. Now, whether you actually want to do this, that's a different that's a different matter. OK. Because then, despite what's going on in your particular situation, there could be even distance here for some of you. It's we need to put these. We need a plan. We need to put these dreams. We need to talk. We need to put these dreams and ambitions, you know, bring them, ground them and talk about how we're actually going to do this. Mm, interesting. But there's a lot of pessimism at the moment. I'm kind of getting this around the situation. There's a lot of inner conflict. There's a lot of anger here. I am getting here with this tower moment, kind of waiting till the dust settles. All right, let's see what else is going on. You have the Justice card, a much more balanced atmosphere coming in between you two or in the situation i am picking up here a peaceful resolution all right and but for some of you there is a separation here okay perhaps you're dealing with a divorce or you know legalities all right so whatever that is i'm kind of getting good news coming in but you will have to make compromises but it's kind of like the green light to be able to make you move on top of this tower here i'm kind of getting you you're trying to balance things out and you're trying to libra this is your card like i say you're coming into your own power all right and i'm kind of getting here that you're there is a convincing attitude around you a very fair-minded attitude around you the willingness to talk the willingness to balance things out the willingness to listen all right and there is it will get a reaction mm. right but it's taking it very very slowly a kind of a one day at a time attitude seven of pen seven of ones night of pentacles very very slow very slow energy this there's, there's a lot okay i could say this is not going to be solved in a couple of days or maybe even a couple of weeks it's going to need a plan but somebody here is very cautious on their approach they're plucking up the courage okay they are willing to make the changes or help or meet you halfway to make the changes okay because the energy between you kind of is okay let's let's talk let's sort this out all right let's get our priorities and put them you know in order all right. Empress bringing love into the situation. It could be a parental influence here, but I'm kind of getting Libra that there is this nurturing situation. Okay, somebody's. It's kind of like somebody feels like they're walking on eggshells. They're walking very tenderly. Now, whether you're married, whether this person's married, or whatever, the situation, the energy remains the same. It's a, it's an honest discussion here going forward. Wow. Yeah, because love is in the air, okay. But I'm picking up here a new romantic cycle and the chance to get together with somebody that you want to be with, who you feel there's a lot of tenderness, there's a lot of there's a lot of goodness, and what you consider where you can get much more growth and much more reciprocity off this person. All right, love is in the air, all right, but what I'm getting here is to achieve what you want to achieve to be with the person you want to be with i am picking up a separation here for some of you all right on the death card the wheel of fortune mm. it's going to take time it's allowing time to take the changes to let the changes take place to let the dust settle all right because your life 
my Libram friends, all right, is about to take a different turn. Probably one that you don't expect, all right, but your attitude towards it is very, very different. As I say, you're trying to balance things out, you're trying to keep things at an equilibrium, all right, whether this is two people, work and somebody, whatever, you know, you, you, you're juggling quite nicely, actually, you are you are keeping your head above water, so to speak, energetically. You are, there is somebody around you I'm kind of getting that is trying to coerce this situation, push things along a bit, whether that's you or whether that's them, but there is this kind of coercive energy here, all right. You've got the Emperor here, very Aries energy. I've got Leo energy here, I've got your energy. Well, got Scorpio energy, lots of different energies. So if any of those signs mean anything to you, then way hey, bravo. All right. But don't get too hooked up on the signs, okay? That doesn't mean that this reading only works for those people. This is just the energies that surround you. With this Emperor energy, it's, it's taking control of the situation, okay? It's thinking about the bigger picture. And, you know, despite the responsibilities the challenges between you two, I'm kind of getting here, there is this energy of somebody willing to take on the responsibility, all right, two of pentacles, ace of wands, it is like, yeah, be fluidic, all right, be ready for anything, because there's an imminent change coming in to your life, okay, seven of cups, page of swords, yeah, you could well... Unexpected communication coming in, okay? And it's going to change everything. It's going to change your attitude, all right? And it's going to lead to all this movement, all right? But it all depends on how well, how well you can adapt. If there's children involved, okay, it's working and giving them their say, all right? But it is all about putting these dreams and ambitions into reality, all right, with this Ace of Wands here, it's the situation you're in, and for some of you it's quite complicated, it's it's all coming to a head, it's all coming to that pinnacle where like the spiritual bubble is about to burst and the energy is, okay, we need to go in one direction instead of six directions, okay. But a lot of it is the changes that you're instigating. I'm going to leave it there, thanks very much for watching.